Many of us have used iMovie on the Mac to create a movie or a slideshow. Well, there's also a version of iMovie, it's for iOS, whether it's iPad, iPhone, or iPod Touch, that allows you to, to do something similar, to create a project, or at least to start the creation of a project and then pick it up on the Mac version of iMovie later. So I'm gonna take the next five minutes or so to just walk through a quick tutorial about how to create a slideshow using the iMovie app for iOS. So I'm gonna open it first. When I log on, I'm prompted the screen. I'm just gonna push this plus button. I'm gonna do a new project. This is pretty much the interface you can see. You have the option to select your media right over here, or if you want, you can record or take pictures right inside the app. But what I'm gonna do is use some of my pictures. Now I downloaded about five or six photos from just scenes of winter that I got from the Creative Commons image search. So I'm gonna go there. I just saved those images to my, to my camera roll and they show up right there. So I'm gonna take my first scene and just tap that in. To put something to the timeline, all you do is just tap and it shows up. Now you can see this is the first image for this winter slideshow that I'm making. By default, it goes to about six seconds. So you can either keep that I can extend it or I can make it longer by just touching it and just dragging the handles like that. I'll keep it at six for now. Okay, now I'm ready for my second scene. So I'm just gonna find another picture, another photo that I wanna use and tap it. And it's gonna automatically go in just like that. And a new dissolve is created between the two of them, which is kind of nice. Now, you might notice that when I'm adding these pictures, they're automatically moving. There's a little aspect of movement there, the, the Ken Burns effect, as it's known for the iMovie for the Mac. So here's how you control it. It's very similar. You have your start frame, and up at the top left, you can see it says start. So you can position this photo to wherever you'd like it to start. And then all you do is tap across the side to where it's going to end. And we'll end it right here. And then you can preview by just dragging your finger along the timeline, just like I'm doing just like this. Now, you are sort of limited with the iMovie app. There's things you can do on the Mac version of iMovie that you just can't do on the iOS version. One of them is if you want a still picture, you could kind of match it up so it doesn't move much from where it starts or where it stops, but it's a little tricky. So if you're doing something with just actual still, not moving pictures, you might want to start it on the iPad and then and then sync it back to your Mac and work on it then. And I can show you how to do that. But I have a couple other pictures that I want to show you. Let me just tap on a new one here. And a new one here. And we'll do one last shot right over here. Okay, and you can see that at the corner, my timeline is about 26 seconds long. Here's a quick preview. If you do want to preview the whole thing, all you do is tap this button right here, and you get an idea of how this is going to look. So this part's easy. We have our photos laid down. The next step that I'm gonna do is add some music. So if I just tap on this little music, note you can see all of the audio tracks that you have available. These are the tracks that you, that you add to your iPad. Within the iMovie app, you can see there's sound effects or there's actual theme music. So just for this, I'm just gonna take one of these theme music songs that comes right with the iMovie app and I'm just gonna tap it and it automatically goes there. So here's a little preview of what you have. Okay, so that's just a little sample of what you have. The last step that I'm gonna show you is how to add some text. Every iMovie project has a particular theme and you can change the themes by going right up to the top, selecting that gear and picking the one that you want. Uh, here's an example. Right now we have just the modern theme and when I select the modern theme, it's gonna change how the text looks when it's displayed. Let me show you an example. We're in modern right now. I'm gonna double tap on this and I am going to add 
taxed. Right now it says none, but you have the chance of doing opening, middle, or ending. We'll just do opening, and I will just tap winter scenes. Okay, and now here's what it's going to look like. Okay, now I mentioned the different themes, changing what the text looks like. I'm going to go right back up here. I'm just going to switch my theme to, we'll just do neon for demonstration's sake. And you can see you have a much different text and different look. Okay, the last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go right back up to where you can select your themes. And I am going to do fade in from black, fade out to black. And then I'm going to do one last thing at the end. And I am going to add just a nice slide to end things. I'm going to switch it to ending, and I'm just going to put the end. Seems simple enough. Now, you don't have as much controls over the text. Once again, one of the limitations of doing this project on the iOS version of iMovie, but later on, you do have the option when you upload that. So here's our movie, nice and quick. Okay, I'm not going to watch the whole thing. I'll just advance to the end. And you can see... My movie is finished. Now here's the last step. You want to take this and export this somewhere. So all I'm going to do is tap on this little button, get out. Here is my movie. I can change the name of this from My Project 3 to, I'm going to change it to Winter Scenes, just so I know what this movie is about. And the last step is you push this little button down here. And it's going to allow you to either send it to your camera roll, upload to YouTube, Facebook, Vimeo, or you can send it to iTunes. And sending that project to iTunes is what's going to allow you to upload that to your computer and then continue that on using the Mac version of iMovie. The other thing that you have the ability to do when you're, when you're in this screen is the ability to watch a movie full screen. Here's an example. I'm just going to tap no. And then I'm going to tap done and we're back here. So this was just a quick overview of how to use the iOS version of iMovie to make a very quick slideshow, something great for your classroom. And if you have longer periods, 80 minute periods, 60 minute periods, you might be able to have your students do this in one or, or maybe two class periods.